And of course, Phil Ivey's got a very interesting seat position there. He's in seat seven. He's got Chris Ferguson to his left. And of course, Dwan and Helmuth and Benjamin to his right. Does he like that? Well, I'd, I'd love it. With Chris Ferguson on your left, you're going to get the button and the best position more often every round. Patrick Antonis is playing very tight, very conservative, so that's even better for you. And you get to see the action from the action players. So it really should be suiting Phil Ivey right now. And that's probably why he's up a little. Not a lot. And Ivy, of course, has the most chips at the table, but he's only up $36,000 because he's bought in for $800,000. Cool. Fold. 24. Cool. And there's a live straddle here. Fold. A and raise under the gun from Benjamin and a call. Oh, actually, is that a double straddle? I think that's actually a double straddle from David Benjamin. So instead of it being 300 and 600, which is what the official blinds are, you've got an overstraddle, making it 1,200, and then a double overstraddle, making it 2,400. Well, throw the blinds out the window, throw the cards out the window. This is just absolute insanity. Well, Patrick Antonis is making it a little bit more sane. Bring them all back to reality with a big raise. Ace-4, no good from Mattis out. Well, David Benjamin's woken up with a hand in the overstraddle. It's not 9,009 more. And Patrick has made it approximately $10,000 more. And that's what Benjamin's got to think about now. Is his ace jack worth that much money? He will have position on Patrick. It does look like a good spot for a uh, dead money pickup from Patrick Antonius. Just a, two limpers. So, he, 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 you know, he could be putting the pressure on. And as it happens, he's got half of a hand, and it's the kind of hand that David Benjamin's got in bad shape. Pot is 22,000. It's 9,900 to call. And it's a call from David. He's got the best position, he's got the best hand. And is that going to bring Duan in? Well, it really wouldn't surprise me. Well, now Duan is down $300,000. He's looking for spots to win a big pot. Maybe he thinks this is his hand. And if he comes, you might even see Ivy join the party. I would bet my firstborn that Ivy's going to call this one. At least. 9,009 more. 9,009 more? What? Do I really have what? You good for me? My firstborn is safe. No, no, I have an ace in my hand. I have an ace something. That'll be good. Cool. Well, he calls. There are four ways here. The pot is already $51,000, and we haven't seen a flop yet. And the best hand out there is ace-jack. Unbelievable. Here comes a flop. Well, king 8-4. I knew you were strong when you called 4,000. Duan is ahead here with a pair of eights. He's got second pair. It's a whole bunch of nothing for everybody. And $51,000 before the flop. I mean, to put that in perspective, that's more than a lot of people make in an entire year. Exactly. And the question right now is what Patrick's going to do. He's made it over 12,000 to play before the flop. He's got three callers and he's missed. Does he have a stab? I mean, I think it was interesting that he tried the dead money pickup now. But now that three players call, it's really tough. But you know what? He's got a lot of heart. He's going to try it. 34,000. Fold. The man with the best hand facing a bet of 34,000. The pot is 85,000. I mean, can Duan call this with just second pair? He has to think that he's probably behind. But does he want to take one off? See what happens. Well, when you call with that kind of hand, there's no draws on this flop. I think he's probably going to have to call. If you're calling to flop two pair, you really are dreaming. I mean, is there a chance that, that he can put Antonius on an under pair, maybe jacks or tens, maybe think he can take it away from him on a later street? Well, maybe think he can take away from him on this street. He might want to try and find out where he is, make it 75, 80,000. But no, he's just going to call. Cool. 
That and this cool. pot is really developing into a monster. The pot is nearly $120,000. <laughs> Ivy's got nothing. Whoa. He's going to get rid of it. That's pretty good news here. for both of the players. Nines and aces would put Patrick Antonius in front. Turn card five. Turn to five of hearts. That changes nothing. And if you're Antonius, what do you do? Both these players, these are our two biggest losers today. Both yeah. down more than a quarter million dollars. Well, Patrick's got more of a reputation of being tight at the table. If he can actually bring himself to put an eighty or ninety thousand dollar pot bet into this pot, he could well pick it up. Now these players really know each other well. They played countless hours together on the internet, and of course they were involved in an earlier hand. Where Duan made a full house and Patrick made a big, big call with just one pair. Check. Patrick Antonius focusing on the pot, on Duan, and on his chips. And of course, Duan. Check. Oh, it goes, he goes check, check. Last card. Not sure where he is. Is he going to regret it? Deuce. Nope, the deuce a good card for. For, uh, sorry for Tom. And I don't think Patrick can fire at this one now, can he? No, because he knows that even if Tom's got an eight, he's probably going to call. I mean, after checking the turn, he's pretty much given up, hasn't he? Yeah, I think that's what's happened. And that's what he's trying to figure out right now, obviously. Can he take a stab at this one more time? I think everybody here is a multi-billionaire. But Patrick, one of the best in the business. He's not the, he's well, not the I mean, type to throw the money after bad money, is he? Money well, he's reaching for his chips. Listen, when you have a positive attitude, you know, I think he's probably going to have to bat 80 or 90,000 to get rid of Tom. Well, that's what he's done. He bounce off the carpet like I have. Like Looks like $82,000 bluff from Patrick Antonius. This is a big, big decision for Tom Durdwan. And of course, Patrick Antonius mm -hmm. checked the turn. Nobody's more positive. Silly me, I, I would have thought that would have been the end of the pot. I still expect to win. But obviously, Patrick, he could take this line. The pot is two hundred thousand dollars. Eighty-two thousand to call. That's when anything ever would start bad for me. Always be positive. Always had positive. Always positive. Good luck in trying to get a read on that man. Does Patrick's Let's line make sense, the way he played this hand? Well, it's looking like tens, jacks, but would he make such a big bet on the river with tens or jacks? He could have been laying a trap with a decent king on the turn, especially on a board of king 8-4 where there's no real draws. You might feel like you can afford to give a free card a chance at getting a payoff on the river. And this is all what's going through Tom ha Tom's uh, head right now. Now I mean, if there was a player at this it. table you were going to trap, it would be Dwan, wouldn't it? Precisely. Easy when they check raise, man. Easy. Be a lot more easier. 37 more? Yeah. And it's an, it's an absolutely ridiculous <laughs> bluff here. Now, we've seen Dwan make some big laydowns, but we haven't <laughs> seen him make a big I call. Can, can he do it? What do you think? Okay. I think it's going through his head. He's counting his chips. He knows how much he's stuck in this game. He might think he doesn't want to go any further in the uh, in the red, but this is also a chance for him to get to get a little bit out of it. You know, there's two hundred thousand dollars in this pot. It would go a long way to helping him. What? No, I'm, I was looking at my chips. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out why he wouldn't put the turn if he had a good hand. Dude, you're, you're allowed to take your time. That must be difficult. You've got an $82,000 decision on your hands and Phil Helmets in your ear. And Duan trying to figure out why Patrick didn't bet the turn. Was Patrick trying to lay a trap or was this a bluff? Well, he's counting out the 82,000. The pot is $200,000. be an absolute monster swing. 
It's a fine line in poker. You can make as much money making good laydowns as you can making good calls. Sometimes you can fall one side or the other and start making mistakes. That's what he's worried about. He's going to call. He makes a call. He it's calls. a great call from Tom Dwan. It's high. It's a great call. He's going to win this with one pair of eights. I can't believe it. A $280,000 pot with a pair of eights. What exactly. a call by Tom Dwan. Fantastic. That's going to make him feel a lot better. And I fear for the rest of the table now he's getting a little bit of confidence. He's still down 150,000, but he was down over 300,000. What a swing. You got to give credit to Patrick Antonius. What heart, heart of a champion to even try that. But he is, uh, he is really in deep here. He is down nearly $400,000.